Congratulations on the purchase of your Metabyte light. This video will familiarize you with the components and your Metabyte light. Prior to going over the components, I'd like to highly recommend that you take a look at this information sheet as it will become important when we do the download. The first items that you are seeing is the laminated card for the patient instructions, the carrying case, and the Metabyte user guide. Here's the Metabyte light and its components. As we progress in this video, we will look at these individually in more detail. You'll notice here that the Metabyte light has three ports. Now you're looking at the back of the Metabyte light. When you receive your Metabyte light, there will be a little screw in the housing of the battery compartment. It is easily removed with the screwdriver provided. There are 25 patient kits in a separate box. Included in the patient kit is the oral nasal cannula with directions, a microporous tape for the patient to use to secure their cannulas and the pulse oximetry, and also a battery. The battery is a 1.3 lithium battery that is valid for a two-night study. Rechargeable batteries are now available. When ready to place the battery into the compartment, take your two thumbs and rest it along the variegated back of, of the Metabyte light. Then you can just slide it down and it'll show where the battery fits in and make sure that you place the battery over the ribbon. At first, it is normal for the battery to feel like it is tight going into the Metabyte light. However, that will ease up as you use your unit. The belt is threaded through the back of the unit. And the ports, um, you'll notice that there are two ports, a USB, and on top, you'll notice that there are three ports. This picture will show you how the body position sensors are inserted into the ports. This view represents how the two belts are connected. It is highly recommended that you secure the chest belt first, making sure that the belt does not move. Once you have that secured, then you place the little sensors into the belt and you will notice the ports on the underside of the belt. Now you are ready to fasten the abdomen belt. Once that is secure and snug, then you place the sensors into those identical ports as you did on the chest belt. You will know that the sensors are placed correctly by feeling a little resistance when placing them into the ports. When inserting the pulse oximetry, it is important to line up. On the Metabyte light, there's a little red etch, and there's also one on the metal part of the pulse oximeter. Please make sure that those are both lined up prior to inserting. The third port has a dual function. In this picture, we're showing you how to insert the snore microphone. Independent of the snore microphone, you can also use what we call a yoke. The yoke is ideally used for patients when you are testing them for EMG. And lastly, you want to make sure that you securely tighten the oral nasal cannula along with the filter. In this picture, you will see all of the components connected for a snore microphone study. The only component left is the communication cable. This is the cable that you will use to upload and download your studies. It is important to notice the status light will be a blinking green light, which is what we want to see. And then what will appear once your drivers are recognized by the computer is a solid green light on the status light as well as the square on the communication cable. You are now ready to download your software. For further assistance, you can always go to our website and click on our resource center to our dental sleep medicine center. Thank you for watching and feel free to contact us for any further questions.